University president may retire, but the vision to enrich the lives of our future leaders never ends for an educator. You're really talking about giving teachers better tools um, and students really a better experience. Foster's now the co-chair of the Citizens for School District 51, a campaign aimed at an issue defying all political categories, replacing the Grand Junction High School and renovating the East Gym and Art Building. Knocking on doors, it's calling people, it's sending them uh, material, all of those sorts of things that you do in a normal campaign. He's not the only one wanting to invest in education. The District 51 School Board forwarded the $115 million bonded tax measure on the November 2nd ballot. Roads are important, sewers are important, all that infrastructure, but human infrastructure is the most important. And so educating our kids in this community at a high level is, is the number one goal in my mind. Two questions have to be answered before the 65-year-old high school is replaced. One, will city council adopt a resolution to support the ballot measure? And two, and most importantly, will citizens vote yes in November for the tax increase to pay for it? We've shrunk the price tag way down. Um, it is only Grand Junction High School. And if, and if, in fact, the bond question, and they can only borrow what the bond question states, which is $115 million, if the school costs less than that, then any of those proceeds go back to reducing the balance on the bonds. First on the Western Slope, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News.